So here we have the uh, the the, the uh, finished circuit. The red and green wires run off to my my little portable speaker here, and the red and black wires are joined using jumper cables to my 9 volt battery. And when I turn the amp speaker on, we have a, a sound. So I've replaced the 100k resistor with a 100k pot here. So when I turn, I reconnect my battery, turn my amp on, and when I change the dial, I can actually change the pitch, varying the resistance on the feedback loop from pin 2 to pin 1. Right, so now I've, I've uh, moved my, uh, my cable, my headphone socket, over a few pins and inserted this normally closed, sorry, normally open switch. So when I, I press the button, I close the circuit and, and we have sound. So we now have a trigger on there as well. And the final step here is uh, again I've moved the uh, the headphone jack slightly and put in between the headphone jack and the ground output here is a one one mega ohm pot so that I can I can adjust the volume. So if I if I play, fortunately I've only got one spare hand. So if I, I change the dial. There we have it louder, turn the dial down, and much quieter, which is very handy. So I've replaced the potentiometer with a 74k to 340k LDR so that when I cover it or change the uh, amount of light shone on it, it will uh, change the pitch played as I'll demonstrate now. So I've added another switch on these red and yellow cables, um, another potentiometer, and some resistors between the chip and the switches um, to reduce the, the, the volume of, of each of the, the two voices I now have, which um, are both controllable, the pitch is controllable, and I can trigger both of them using the switches as so. And there's my uh, two voices on a chip. <laughs>